You see that? This is my 100 to 1 scope probe. It's relatively new. I just got it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and uh, so, P4100, 100 to 1, 100 megahertz, 2 kilovolt DC AC peak. Okay, and there you can see I've got it marked and labeled and all the rest of that. Okay, so first off, let's uh, let's check the probe compensation to make sure that it is uh, working right. So let's see here. So channel one. Uh, take off the spring clip. Put it in the calibrator like so. DC coupling and. Uh, Change the scale till we get a signal. The time base. Okay. All right. So there's our square wave signal. We've got a uh, 100x probe. So this is actually being displayed here then at uh, uh, 500 millivolts per division, or half a volt per division, instead of 50 millivolts per division. Right. And uh, so you can see that the square wave is not real square, so we take the little screwdriver that came with the probe and we locate the capacitor in the connector body right there. And then we tune that capacitor until we get a nice square shape of the wave, square as possible. Right about there. Okay, so that's our probe compensation adjustment. Now let's take the probe, put the spring clip back on the end, and uh, hook it up. <laughs> the wire's too short. Can't reach. Can't reach. The wire's too short. Oh, okay. So here, uh, stand by one. I'm going to turn the camera off. For a okay. Second. So now I've got the. Uh, now I've got the probe hooked up uh, across the coil, not the rectifier portion of uh, try to get it against some kind of background where you can see. okay? And I have the scope set at uh, 20 volts per division, but this is a 100x probe, so really we're looking at 200 volts per division on the screen now. And I'm going to take this thing here. And I'm just going to stick it into the quig, the micro quig, uh, and you can see that the little spark gap is flashing. So here's what the waveform looks like. Now remember, we're looking at that at 200 volts per division. Okay. So you're seeing the voltage build in the capacitor and then discharge as the little spark gap fires. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.